the inner soul of a land steeped in millennia, the enduring spirit that safeguarded our cultural heritage when other ancient civilizations faded into relics, the Sanatana Dharma. Indian music, dance, martial arts, mathematics and astronomy, pillars we now proudly call our own, all blossomed from the profound roots of Sanatana Dharma. Trace it back and you arrive at the Vedas, the first chapters in humanity's library, Rig Veda, Samaveda, Yajur Veda and Atharva Veda, the towering guardians of Indian culture. As people read and reread the Vedas, some began altering this genuine knowledge to fit their agendas. Western Indologists and their indigenous followers engaged in a kind of Vedic surgery. The Vedas and their teachings were disseminated in different ways, with bits torn and stitched together. This led to a lack of understanding of the true essence and value of Vedas, prompting a generation to question their wisdom. It's here that Acharya Sri Rajesh steps in, revealing the genuine nature of the Vedas and motivating people to embrace and follow their true teachings. Acharya Sri's predecessors were Vedic Pandits who participated in the renowned Murajapa conducted by the Maharaja of Travancore at Sri Padmanabha Swami Temple. In modern times, following the ancient tradition of his predecessors and by taking inspiration from the great Maharshi Dayananda Saraswati, founder of the Arya Samaj and social reformer of the 19th century, Acharya Sri began the propagation of Vedas. The Rig Veda encourages us with a vital message, Manurbhav, which means, be a human. This counsel is very significant. See, how can we tackle our inner turmoil, desires, and unruly passions? This is where the Vedas come into play. Vedas are not exclusive to any particular religion. They are for everyone. The primary message of the Vedas is simple yet profound. Manurbhav, be a human. Because being human is not easy. Once, Vedas were such texts that did not require any commentaries. Their words are yogic. In the classical Sanskrit we use today, Aja means goat. But in Vedic Sanskrit, Aja means unborn. Understand the difference between the two. So it is obvious that there are many shortcomings in the interpretation of the Vedas in later times because of this huge difference. But all those who interpreted the Vedas honestly wanted to revive the Vedic culture. Thankfully, the collective endeavors of many individuals have produced valuable Vedic commentaries that we can now benefit from. The Vedas reject casteism, gender inequality and superstitions. And what they provide are formulas to shape the best possible human being. As the Rig Veda emphasizes, Manur Bhava, be human, Janaya Daivyam Janan embody divine qualities to become a divine human. Founding the Kashyapa Veda Research Foundation, Acharya Sri wove to teach the Vedas to all, transcending caste and gender. What began with a handful of learners flourished into thousands and lakhs. Across Kerala and beyond, people congregated to learn the Vedas, discovering the core of Sanatana Dharma and embracing the noble practices of ancient sages. Under Ajatya Sri's guidance, the Kurikod Somayaga of 2014 unfolded, a historic event uniting people from all castes. In the huge event of 13 lakh participants, the foundation was able to feed organic, poison-free food to at least 6 lakh people. The event also stood as a testament against animal sacrifice and plastic pollution, with tribal people welcomed by traditional Nambudiris holding lanterns. Acharya Sri Rajesh broke conventional caste boundaries by leading community Agnihotras, 
in Tiruvannathapuram, Kochi and Koriko, gatherings of 1,000, 2,000 and 3,000 people occurred, chanting mantras and making offerings in their Agnikundas, regardless of caste and gender. During the COVID period, Acharya Sri Rajesh led the Agnihotra Mahamaham, where tens and thousands of disciples performed Agnihotra from their homes simultaneously. He successfully revived ancient yajnas in the modern world, including Pavitreshti, Brihaspateshti, Saraswati Yajna and Rudra Yajna. This revitalization extended from daily rituals like Agnihotra to grand ceremonies like Soma Yaga, reaching common people. Acharya Sri Rajesh played a pivotal role as the driving force behind the first national Vedic conference in Northern Kerala, held at Kashyapashramam in Kodi in 2015 after the Somiyaga. Notable for its public participation and humanitarian messages, the conference, conducted in collaboration with Maharshi Sandipani Rashtriya Veda Vidya Pratishthan, under the Union Ministry of Human Resource Development, saw the involvement of Vedic students and traditional scholars from various parts of India. Acharya Sri Rajesh made a public declaration affirming that all human beings hold equal authority in the Vedas, aligning with Sri Chetambi Swami's Vedadhikara Nirupanam. This significant announcement took place in 2016 at the Pratnyanam Brahma program organized by the Kashyapa Veda Research Foundation on Korikod Beach. An impactful message was also conveyed when 2,000 women chanted Vedic mantras together on the same platform. Agni is the messenger who carries the offerings given in the Yajna to the Devdas. Recognizing Agni's vital role, Acharya Sri Rajesh established the first Hindu Agni temple in India. By safeguarding the sacred Yajnagni, this unique Agni temple remains preserved within the Veda Mahamandiram in Ottatenga, Kakodi, Kurikod. In the footsteps of Adi Shankara, who established four matas based on the four Vedas in different corners of India, Acharya Sri Rajesh has pioneered the establishment of the Chatur Vedas outside India, that too in an Arab country, the UAE. Today, he has conceived and brought to life the world's first Vedic temple. Despite various temples dedicated to the family deities, the 33 crore Devatas and even Parabrahman in Hindu Dharma, there was no temple solely dedicated to Vedamata, encompassing the Chaturvedas. By marking a new chapter in the history of Hinduism, Acharya Sri Rajesh realized the world's first Vedic temple on 31st January 2023. In the Vedic temple, it's not just translations, but the Shabda Veda, featuring the Mula Samhitas and Shakha Samhitas of the four Vedas, Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda and Adharva Veda in Devanagari script. Notably, this temple exclusively honors the Vedas without any idols of any deities. Visitors receive a Veda Mandra and its meaning as Prasad when they come to witness the Chadur Vedas at the Vedic temple of Kashyapashram. Acharya Sri has added a remarkable 105 Vedic texts to the Malayalam language bibliography, which previously had few such texts. His writings cover a broad spectrum from Hindu Dharma Rahasyam unraveling the hidden meanings of Hindu symbols and deities, to Bhavavritam, the secret of Vedic cosmology, delving into profound concepts of creation in the Vedas through the six darshanas. Acharya Sri Rajesh embodies the Vedic concept of life through selfless living. Thousands of disciples who witnessed and embraced this lifestyle are now living with a deep understanding of Vedic wisdom savoring its essence like honey. Through his efforts, Acharya Sri has engraved the Vedas in people's hearts, transforming them from mere words on pages of palm-leaf scriptures 
the Abhinava Rishi remains steadfast in his mission, dedicated to the path of penance taught by ancient sages, ensuring the continued promotion of the Vedas. Chare Vedi, Chare Vedi. Acharya Shri was the first Keralite to be chosen to confer the Veda Charya title by Om Shandidham Gurukul in Karnataka. He was also honored with the first Mahashai Dharmpal International Vedic Award by the Sarvadeshik Arya Pradinidhi Sabha, the Veda Samskara Acharya Award by Dayananda Institute of Vedic Studies and the Arya Karmadha Karyakarta Award by Paropakarini Sabha. Further recognition include the Yajna Prajapati Puraskar by Vedic Scholars of Madhya Pradesh, the Kapali Shastri Award by Sri Aurobindo Kapali Shastri Vedavidya Foundation, and the Veda Bandhu Award by Kadavalur Anyonya Parishad. Most recently, he received the prestigious Amrita Kirti Award from Mata Amritanandamai Mata.